and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. Now, if you remember this from a recent video, this was my radio control boat rescue retrieval craft. And uh, the last video showing that showed it sailing around on the reservoir. Now, in this video, I'm going to try and upgrade that rescue craft to have a first person view camera on it. So I've sent off for this. It's called the Spotter version 2 and it is a little first person view camera and this is a antenna on the top and the camera lens is there at the front now this can either be plugged into the receiver or they give you this little connection here which will connect in line with your uh, battery now you need something to receive the signals from that little camera and uh, some people would use a set of first person view goggles but I've sent off for this first person view monitor and this is what you get in that box a uh, little looks like a little tv screen with some buttons down the side and a couple of antennae that go on the top now they just screw in there on the top like that and you can bend them up like that now this unit is uh, charged up with a standard usb cable but they also provide you with a usb connected to an xd60 so you can actually run this off uh, a typical radio control battery now i'll just take this protective film off and then we'll have a go at firing it up i haven't tried this yet now i'm just going to try and run this off the battery to start with and see what happens so we'll plug that in there and connect a battery onto there see a red lights come on here I'm sure that means it's working take the lens cap off now if I power this on we'll see what happens Nothing yet. Try holding it a bit longer. And there we go. Now I think we have to press this search button and see if it'll find anything. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> there we are hello uh it works look at that how cool is that all right now there's a few other things on this monitor uh you can see here there's a record button so you can actually record what's showing on the camera and it records to the little uh micro sd card that goes in there so that'll be well in there i think so that'll be uh, pretty handy. Now my rescue boat is running off this Spectrum transmitter and I needed a way to get the monitor to sit on the transmitter like that. So I found this clamp on Thingiverse. This is designed for Spectrum transmitters and it fits on To the antenna like that it clamps on the bottom just like that uh, but then i needed some way of fastening the monitor to that now this is designed to uh, have a screw a screw fitting through that hole but my monitor doesn't have that so i've designed and 3d printed this bracket here and i'm going to glue that onto uh, onto here something like that and uh, well, I think it goes like that actually oh well somewhere uh, but that's then gonna cradle the uh, the monitor like that just have to fasten it down with something so this piece is designed to take an m3 nut in there then I'm going to screw those two together with a 20 millimeter bolt. Now 
that's actually a very good design. Nice and tight and firm. Right, let's screw that on there. Now I've decided to fasten this monitor on here with some Velcro. Trouble is when I did it, it was too thick and this wasn't wide enough. So I've had to reprint this, do it again. But that fits on there really nicely now. That's better. Holds on nicely. Now I need to fit this camera on this boat. Now any normal sane person would fit it right there. That'd be very functional. But I want my action man to go on there. So I'm gonna have to put it somewhere else. So I've downloaded and 3D printed this thing off Thingiverse. It's actually a ball and socket mount. And I'm gonna put this on the boat here and mount the camera right there. got uh, an adjustable platform there now that's pretty good isn't it I'm gonna fasten the camera on here with some velcro just so that I can remove it if I want and put it on another vehicle I just got to connect it up to the battery Right, it's all set up, so time for a little test rescue in the pool. I'm just gonna try this out with a three-bladed prop to see, see how that goes. Well, I reckon that was a pretty successful test run. So next time we see this, it'll probably be rescuing a real boat. Well, there we are. That seemed to work out okay. Successfully installed the camera and it all seemed to be working. And I think that's gonna make it a lot easier to actually do a rescue out on the water when you're trying to get up close to a boat and you can see it when you're actually docking. So I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Fun little project uh, for now. I'm going to call it a day on the next video i'm going to be back on the chris craft corvette which this may one day have to rescue but 
For now, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures.